or did they have they cut I the wanted interview. you to make sure. I mean, they, they these are all Harley bolts, and they already have that white. Uh, yeah, or the I blue. Love Oh, he's opening up the there filler. Oh my god. <laughs> That's opening the filler cap. Yeah. I got a good engine. Hey, what's up, guys? Taking uh, taking Grey Ghost to be serviced. First, first service. I'm taking it to a Tor Custom Cycles. They're gonna do the oil change and whatever is needed for the first. I was gonna do it myself, you know, FTC just ruled and told Harley, hey, you can let people do it themselves, but I'm gonna let somebody else do it for me. Just oil change, whatever is needed. My first service. The El Diablo just came out. Boy, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful uh, color scheme. But it's uh, six, seven thousand dollars more expensive than my bike. So if I get a custom paint, five thousand, four, four, five thousand dollars, under a thousand dollar Rockford Fosgate, I'm pretty much there, right? And oh, the only thing, it's not a, it's not a serial, it's not serial numbered over here. Yeah, it's a nice bike. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Custom cycles. 
Mike is here waiting for me. I'll be uh, pushing or pulling my bike in in a second for my oil change and service. First service. I got a few seconds to do a little recap of what I got on the bike. I got, let's start from the top, thrashing bag. I got bunking six and a half inch by two inch pullback risers. I did the uh, Customized the, the paint on this myself. Oh, yeah, absolutely custom dynamic LED inserts Harley Davidson mustache engine guard SNS heavy breather I took the the beautiful one that I had before but this one is just as nice and more practical in my opinion Forgot what it's called and the new addition is the tab tab performance three uh, zomb not the zombie baffles. These are the 2.25 2.25 baffles with uh, Straight cut I was told the tips Those are slip-ons only and of course the Mustang Mustang Seat correct currently in its configuration as a solo seat with the backrest. I do have the Advan black tour pack I don't know if you've seen it and yeah as we speak I'm still running raffle for the tour pack. Uh, you're going to be getting, the winner is going to be getting exactly that tour pack or actually any tour pack he wants from Advan Black. I'm going to be sending it out, the winner. And of course, more on modification. Forward controls, the Harley originally, but I powder coated them in black. And thrash and supplies, mini floorboards, both sides. And I think the biggest upgrade. Thanks to Harley Davidson, the Rockford Fosgate audio system. Really, really powerful. What else? Oh yeah, a gift from Cycle Fanatics from John. The red Screaming Eagle spark plug cables in red. And the whole rear end is modified. LED inserts in here and this taillight by Custom Dynamics. By the way, I was just told that Custom Dynamic now carries the missing plug. This thing, the ST has a different connection uh, for uh, the tail light. So now Custom Dynamics actually was able to make these plugs. So you can find those plugs on the website. So you can buy this low profile tail light and the plug that would fit the ST. Check it out. And also the lay down, lay down license plate. What else? I think I covered it all. transmission this time. Crack these loose, let a little air in there and then oil will come out a lot faster. Normal amount of metal oh, on there. Right. No, that's good. Especially your first oil change. You always see them. On, you always see them yeah, on the first yeah. service. We had one in here yesterday that 
it was a mound on top. Brush, please. Also. So Harley uses the uh, like the liquid uh, thread seal. The white one? Yeah. Yeah. They put too much of it, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Teflon. Teflon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just plumber's, plumber's Teflon. Okay. Run it around two to three times. The only thing I make sure I do is get it all off the top surface Imagine, here. Yeah. yeah, so I keep, I usually just pick it back and then give me a nice clean top. That other gasket? Yeah. Yeah, you always replace uh, these gaskets? I do. Um, well, sometimes people don't. I'd rather the bike not come back. Yeah, of course. For I a do. couple of dollars, mm -hmm. you know. Feel that you start to develop, you know when to stop, you yeah. tear it out. Probably a, what a quart, one quart, one, one quart. quart. It's different than the than the touring bikes, yeah. Well, I didn't really do it. Touring bikes, the drain plug is in the front right, facing. Right, that forward. I remember. Yeah. Even the 114. Yep. And then we'll we'll see the difference when we take the filler cap out. You'll see when we let air into the. Yeah. How uh, how fast the, the yeah the flow is. So this is with a sealed. No, you not got bad. Flow. Not bad. Go ahead, right? Open up. Oh, he's opening up the there filler. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's opening the filler cap. Yeah. It looks good. Very, very minimal. Yeah, it really looks good. Right. Very good. Happy because a lot of uh, you know COVID COVID bikes, I call them, mm. have been having a lot of trouble. Thirty-two, a little low. Yeah, I felt it a little bit low. <laughs> um, no, it says thirty-two. Do you like thirty-two in yours? Because I usually go thirty-two. I, I don't. Really, you're right I can't on really, the, really tell the difference. Yeah, you're right on the money. So. Yeah. Got lucky. You are lucky. All right. 
right. I don't call that luck, it's called skill. <laughs> so I pulled it onto the lift. Yeah, we're gonna have to go from this side. Rear needs 36? 40. 40. Check it and tighten all the bolts. Is anybody crucifying you about not putting Loctite on anything? Everybody does, but actually, um, <laughs> all these bolts come with already. Uh, they're Harley bolts. Oh, they have it so, on there. So they have it on there. I was gonna because I remember watching. I'm like, I'm gonna say something when you come here because I want. No, no, they, they have. They come. I wanted you to make sure. I mean, they, they, these are all Harley bolts, and they already have that white. Uh, yeah. Or the I blue. Loctite everything. Yeah. This one's pretty high, right? Yeah. Actually, believe it or not, this bolt, this when I put this on, uh -huh. this one, I didn't lock tight it, mm -hmm. and on the way home from a ride, I lost it. Really? I lost this uh, this one. Yeah, right here. Uh -huh. hmm. I got one from Glenn, and then I then I used lock tight. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, it gives us some a dirty job. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. It was the worst part of the whole job. It gets everything dirty, huh? It gets everywhere. And you will see this oil in the next day or two. We're going to clean as much as we can, yeah, but you'll still see. Everybody says it's so, important, but why is that important? I didn't really so figure out. When you don't... Give me a second. Here. So what do you say? Why is it... So when you put oil in the filter, the first thing, when you start the bike after an oil change, the oil's going to go going through the filter. It's going to fill the filter, mm -hmm. and then it's going to go through. Oh, so there's like a few seconds that there's zero... Uh, there could be. Lubrication. And, yeah, it... it it's a lot easier to check the oil. I find it's a lot easier to check the oil level and get it right when the filter's already filled. Gotcha. Because what we're going to do after we start this, but we're after we put the oil in, we're going to start the bike up, mm -hmm. let it pressurize the system, and right. then we're going to shut it down. We're going to check again and have to top the oil off. Right. Most of the time, and when you put these on, just hand tight. You yes. Don't, you don't need a wrench. Um, Now, sometimes you can't really, I can't get my hand in there. Um, so, I will put the filter wrench back on there a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'll only do it like a quarter to a half a turn. But don't, don't forget, you always gotta lube that gasket though. Yeah. It's a quarter. That's it. Put it in there a little better. I'm gonna hit it from the other side also. Where it mostly gets caught is down in here. Then when, as you're riding. It, yeah, it'll come back, but then you're going to see it, like I said, for a day. What do you put in here? Almost five, just a little bit less than five? I'm gonna put about four and a half, and then we're gonna check it. Four and a half? I just wanna change funnels. Oops. 
Let it run a little bit. This one, the oil, the dipstick is uh, actually only for the Jiffy stand. I think it's calibrated only for maybe the other side. No, nope. no, just one side. Yeah, so we have to do it on the side stand. The oil changed, we did uh, tightened, made sure that all the bolts are nice and tight, checked the brakes, checked uh, the, uh, the clutch, there's no need to adjust the clutch, and serve, first service is done. Thanks to Mike from uh, Tor Custom Cycles. Thank you so much, buddy. No, no problem, anytime. Yes, yeah, so what is your address over here so people know? Uh, it's 221 Gracie Place in Hackensack. That's in New Jersey, guys. <laughs> Come check it out. Nice and loud, just like I like it. Oh, uh, that's good. Thanks uh, for my, thanks to Mike from uh, Four Custom Cycles for, for my first service. So I'll do the next service now that I know exactly where the, the three holes are for the oil change. 3,000 is on me. Nice and fresh. Fresh oil. So Mike did a nice and clean job. Worked really, really, you know, clean. I like it. Very uh, accurate, very, uh, very, very, uh, very clean, let's put it that way. And the oil itself was clean. My plugs had minimal, minimal uh, shavings on them. So I'm happy about that. 